Hi there, and welcome to the Home Studio Rescue here on YouTube. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be talking about how to record in Pro Tools. And we're just going to start by double-clicking on the Pro Tools icon, and I will see you when it's done booting up. Okay, so this is the dashboard where we can create a new Pro Tools session. I'm just going to name it How to Record in Pro Tools. If you were doing like a song, maybe you would do the name of the song or a band or an artist. Do this artist plus the name of the song. A little bonus tip. Uh, for where we're going to save this project, you go to location. So if you don't have an external hard drive, it'll probably try to save it somewhere on your computer, which I would recommend having at least one external hard drive exclusively for your music. So I'm going to pick my folder here and I'm going to save it to my external hard drive and just I'm going to hit create or enter. And this is the edit window. This is the mix window. And what I'm going to do is go up to setup first things first. We're going to hit playback engine. And this is where you select your audio interface. And so let's say if I was on something else, like any one of these, I'd, just, I'd have to go and select my universal audio. And we're going to hit yes. And then it's going to reboot. And now we're going to go back to the playback engine. The other thing we should talk about is buffer size here. So buffer size determines how much latency there's going to be between your audio interface and your software between Pro Tools. And so uh, when you're recording, the lower the better. I usually go around 128. That usually makes it where my uh, Pro Tools doesn't crash and interrupt me recording a track. So, But you could probably get away with 256 samples, but the lower you go, the less latency there's going to be. So the less delay there will be between your interface and the software that is recording your song. So the other thing is, is that when you're done recording, all your tracks are done, and you want to start adding plugins, like you want to start mixing your song, I would go up to the highest samples you can. That's what I do whenever I'm in the mixing process. But during recording, I stay around 128. Okay, and so now we're going to create two tracks. I'm going to go Shift-Command-N, we're going to make a audio track and I can make this into a mono or stereo track by hitting command left arrow right arrow and I can also change the track by going command down arrow or up arrow so today we're going to be focusing on an audio track and we're going to make a MIDI track or an instrument track as it's called in Pro Tools and we'll call this one keys and we will call this vocal and so first we need to talk about input and output. So this right here is your input. You can select your mics. Uh, your, like It just depends on what audio interface you have. But for me, this is channel 2. That's where my voice is going to come in on. And so you can see I'm getting signal here. And then this track right here, keys, is a instrument track. And so this is what you would use for your MIDI keyboard. And so basically you need plugins in order to run something off of your MIDI keyboard. This MIDI keyboard has no sounds by itself and so I'm gonna go in and select an instrument and I'm going to come up with like a keyboard sound. Okay and so we're just gonna pick something generic and now now we should have some keyboards. Okay, and so now we have keyboard sounds here. So next we will pull up our transport. You just hit Command-1, hit the Record Enable track here, and then you can push Spacebar. And now we are recording in Pro Tools. The other way to do that is you just hit 3, and it'll start recording if you have a numeric pad. And so that is how you record in Pro Tools. Now... What I'll say right now is I have my audio interface going and I have, if I unmute this, it's, it's going to sound, sound crazy. crazy. So that's, you're hearing some of the latency. Um, I had to change the buffer size, but you're hearing some of the latency. And so just a quick overview, shift command in creates a track and you can, you can change that here. You can also do that by hitting track and go new. And then we're going to have to, we have to record enable whatever we want to record. We have to hit this little circle inside the square 
and that'll make it where you are ready to record. If you got any value out of this video, please hit the subscribe button. Also, if you need any help building your studio, learning how to use Pro Tools, or recording in general, you could shoot me an email at homestudiorescue at gmail.com. I do free Zoom calls. I will leave a link below in the description for that as well, and I will catch you on the next one.